Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're taking a quick look at the demo because they just released a new version of the demo which is the latest version minus some features and we're gonna see if it turns out you can't rename this at all. Um, yeah, so that's one of the limitations is you're locked to only one save game. Another limitation is that you cannot go to the SPH or the runway in the demo version. However, the demo version is better than the current version in one way. That is, it is built on Unity 4, so it should run better. Also, you can see we have a very limited selection of parts. It looks like they're keeping the same parts as in version uh, 0.13, but it's just in the latest version, so it runs better, I guess. Um, so actually, it, it actually, I'm thinking it doesn't actually make a whole lot of a difference overall, does it? Um, other than performance, of course. Like right now, I'm actually running other programs on my computer and I'm going at 24 to 30 frames per second, um, <laughs> which for me is quite a lot, especially in the editor. Um, normally, as you are well aware, I have really, really bad frame rate. Also, I miss being able to build rockets where like I didn't have to search through 20 pages of parts. This is this is kind of nice actually. Um, I I do I I'm already missing a few parts that I I would have wanted to use that I can't use. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly build a little rocket. This should get us into space just fine. Um, actually, I'm not really I'm not 100% certain on that. It should do, but I don't know if it will. Why is this not? Oh, okay, there we go. Now it's attaching. And let's go ahead and add some struts on here, because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. So, yeah. Um, so we want this engine to fire along with those engines, and then we want these decouplers to fire. No, wait, yeah. We want these decouplers to fire, and then that one to fire with that one, and we're all set for our first launch in the demo. So let's go. Once again, I have to say, it's running quite smoothly. Yes. Actually, no, wait. It's gone down to 10 frames per second, which is what I normally get. Yay, me. But, um, oh, wow. This thing has a ton of power with these SRVs. I had a feeling that the SRVs would actually be uh, way more power than we need. I only actually need to throttle up the main engine once those SRVs burn out. Anyhow, so the limitations in the demo are the parts that you saw in the VAB. You know, there aren't as many parts. You can't use the runway or the uh, SPH. You can't use docking ports, well, because they're not in the parts list. You can't use mods. Um, it actually doesn't allow using mods now. Um, we're going to go ahead and, I guess, go into a, re a semi-retrograde orbit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I'm just kind of uh, making this up as I go and trying to uh, read stuff. You can't use plugins uh, along with not being able to use the other parts, and we need to be pitching over more actually. But um, this is actually a really smooth launch considering I'm not really paying attention at all. <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing. I forgot to see if we actually have landing legs. I don't think we do. That's interesting. Um, the only celestial bodies in the game in this version are the moon, Minmus, and uh, the sun. So there's no going to other planets and stuff. And let's see, you can only launch three simultaneous missions before being required to end the flight of one or two or something. Um, which is actually, uh, that's actually a big improvement considering previously the, the version, the, uh, what do you call it? There was no... There was no such thing as a, uh, what do you call it? There was no such thing as persistence. You didn't have that. Actually, we're, we're at 30 frames per second. Um, oh, now we're back at 10. I guess it was because I was on the map view. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Despite the low frame rate, I feel like it's running better. Of course, that may just be me being hopeful. Um, also... In my case, it's not so much that the that the game... Uh, see, the problem with this game is that it requires a power... It, it requires a lot of CPU power to run. And that's, that's the problem where it didn't work as well as it should. And... Um, but see, I also have a very low-end computer. Well, actually, it's... I think it's technically, like, medium, but... Uh, it, 
as far as I care, it's very low end. And uh, so, you know, with my computer, the issue isn't actually as much. Oh, wait, we're out of fuel. Well, let's just uh, ditch that then. And uh, let's see, what's our. Yeah, we got. We got. We're, we're getting into orbit just fine. In fact, I need to turn on precision controls because this thing is going to be too wobbly. Um, where was I? I have a cheap computer. I don't actually have a graphics card. It's uh, Intel Integrated Graphics. It's an HP Pavilion laptop. Yeah, I know. I know it's that bad. <laughs> Buy me a new computer, please. But, um... So really, I've I've had this sneaking suspicion this that all this time this this game hasn't been locked by the processor, but rather by my graphics card or lack of graphics card, and um, I would like to say I can confirm that right now simply because I'm running other applications right now on my computer at the same time as this KSP, and they're not having an effect on performance. It's performing the same as it ever has. Maybe slightly better, but the same as it ever has. And also, I'm looking at my CPU usage, and it's only at uh, 40%. Uh, you know, it's actually 30. It's dancing around 30 to 40, mostly staying in the 30s. But, you know, basically my processor isn't, isn't being used that all that heavily. Um, now, when it was on a single core, when KSP used to run on a single core, it would max out that core, or bring it very close to maxing it out. But um, you know, with this version, it's it's not it's not actually heating up all that much, and um, I'm 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 getting a little worried that we're actually if we're gonna actually get in orbit now, <laughs> kind of just a little worried because I'm doing this wrong. Um, you know, I just made this up as I went in let's play style. Also, I just noticed I never put a decoupler on the, the capsule. We actually don't have... A, that's funny, this whole thing lands. Uh, we don't... We don't do this the proper way. Oh god. Ah, I'm like... It, it moves much faster than I'm expecting it to, because normally I'm launching uh, bigger ships. So anyhow, this is KSP version 0.18.3, which is the demo. And when they update the regular game to Unity 4, um, that will be 0.18.4. So they will do that before they release uh, before they release uh, 0.19. But when they, you know, so we'll we'll get Unity 4 without having to wait for them to get to uh, that. But anyhow, as you can see, I have now gotten an orbit, and now I will immediately turn around and try to deorbit into this desert. So let's see if we can pull that off and. Uh, Oh god. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down, rocket. Okay, um, alt. Oh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm not worried about the high physics time warp. Not really. Come on, deorbit. Deorbit now. Ah, we're not going down fast enough. Actually, I need to point this down more, shouldn't I? Yep. Okay. I think we just, uh, let me see, let's exit the map view. We did indeed just run out of power, so uh, let's physics time warp, and actually we should blow that chute. That's probably a good idea, it's probably for the best that we do that. And then I'm going to wait till we hit about uh, 30, 30 kilometers, and uh, I'm going to slow it down to 3, no, wait, no, uh, I don't want it to break. Alright, we should be safe to continue at 4x until... Actually, we're landing on mountains, aren't we? I don't know when the parachute's going to deploy, actually. Um, oh yeah, we have an altimeter thingy. Radar altimeter. Oh, oh, we're going to we're going we're getting near the ground now. So, let's not hit the wrong buttons, please. And Yay! Landing. I'm curious if this thing can actually like land without blowing up. My guess is no. I don't actually know yet though. So let's fast forward and see it. Yeah, 8.9 meters per second. We're going to lose that engine and possibly the tank. Not really sure yet though. So we'll definitely we'll definitely see. Do I have a shadow? Wait, wait, do I have a shadow? 
nope, seems that bug is still there for me. Okay, so we lost the, the engine, as expected. We did not lose the tank, however. And Jebediah is fre freaking, freaking out. I think I have discovered a bug. Jebediah is not fearless. Now that we've finished looking at a regular game, let's go take a look at training. Uh, construction basics, flight basics, orbiting 101, to the moon part one. So those should be the same. I haven't actually, I don't know. Hmm. Oh hey, let's take a look at this one. Oh hey, so here we are. We're on a, wait, what? We're, oh, I see now. We're going to hit the moon, I'm guessing. I don't know, are we? I'm guessing that's what's about to happen here. Yes, yes it is, it's precisely what's about to happen here. In fact, I should be getting very worried right now. Um, I think we were supposed to save, save ourselves in orbit and not try to land, but I am dumb. So, so yeah, let's... Oh, we're still pretty high up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Oh god. The precision controls. Oh god. We're spinning now. Um. We are way too low to actually stop, I don't think. And also, we don't have enough fuel to actually stop, I don't think, either. So, yeah. Um. Get ready to EVA as soon as you run out of fuel. Because you're going to die. Okay, EVA and let go and RCS and RCS and thrust up. Up. Up desperately. Um, I can't really see the ground. Oh, there's, there's the... Oh, it just... Oh. Yeah. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space. Check this out. When you when you try to exit the game in the demo, it shows the freaking awesome. Oh look, these are these are like the from the screenshot contest. I recognize this one, uh, the a vast solar system one. Um, the others I don't actually recognize. Uh, maybe the one on the left is Nathan's. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But anyhow, yes. Here is stuff. Get the full version or quit the game.